new design of damaged shoes, a coin purse out of cassette tapes, a decorated vase. Give old stuff a second chance. Watch our new video to find out how to give old things a new life. It's been a while since we've seen Betty. She's been hiding in her attic, sorting through her stuff. She never throws anything away, since it could all come in handy someday. Like this dried out slime. We can save it using toothpaste. Add a little bit of toothpaste to a dried out slime. Start kneading it and gradually add more toothpaste until the slime is elastic again. Betty breathes new life into this old slime. Thank goodness she didn't throw it away. Now she has a soft slime that's as good as new. You never know what you'll find in your attic. Princess Blondie is getting ready for the ball. All she has to do is gracefully come down the stairs. But one evil step twists Blondie's foot. How unfortunate! Now her shoes are scratched forever. And Blondie lost one shoe before even getting to the ball. Cheer up, princess! Betty, like a fairy godmother, knows how to quickly rescue a ruined shoe. Cover the heel and sole of the old shoes with masking tape. Mix a large amount of glitter with acrylic polish. Spread a few layers of polish out onto the shoes with a brush. Let each layer dry out. Once the glitter is fully dry, cover the shoes with another layer of polish. Remove the tape. Decorate the heel with rhinestones. Betty brings out a pair of shiny shoes. Wow! They're even better than before! Blondie tries on her new reincarnated shoes. Now her feet will shine brighter than everyone else's. Betty's full of creative vigor. She wants to reinvent everything around her. But Blondie says that she's not allowed to experiment with dishes. Now what am I supposed to do with all of my talents? Can I at least decorate these plates? No. Then Betty tries to convince her friend to let her improve a fruit vase. She has a great idea. Fine. Blondie agrees. And Betty gets her very best herd of elephants down from the attic. Color toy elephant figurines with turquoise acrylic paint. Use a dry brush and just a little bit of paint to make a pinata effect. Use gold acrylic paint to add accents. Put three elephants in a triangle shape. Use super glue to attach a plate on top. Betty's proud to present her new creation. She's the queen of the jungle. This dish is a whole fruit installation, and elephants are the star players. Great job, Betty. The three elephants are holding the plate as if they were holding up the whole world. Betty's a born designer. Blondie accidentally stepped on her friend's crayons. Oops, my bad. The crayons couldn't handle the pressure. What will Betty say? But it looks like my friend isn't too upset. After all, she knows exactly what to do with broken crayons. Soak bits of old crayons in water so the paper labels will be easier to remove. Put the clean crayons in silicone candy molds. Microwave them for about 4 minutes, checking them every 30 seconds. Let the wax cool and remove the colorful figurines from the molds. Betty transformed old crayons into fun little shapes. You can use them to draw or play. The crayons have been reborn as cute dinosaurs. These pencils are completely done. Why should I keep struggling with these? Blondie suggests we get new pencils and throw these old scraps away. But Betty won't just let her get rid of the old pencils so quickly. You can turn them into pretty decent earrings. Cut old pencils into small pieces. Use super glue to stick different colored chunks together. Poke a hole in the top one with a thumbtack. Insert an eye screw. And attach an earring supply hook. 
Betty gives her friend a box. Inside, there are cute earrings made out of pencils. How pretty! Blondie immediately tries them on. The pencils look even better on her than they did on the paper. Blondie put together a whole box of things to throw out. Slow down! One Blondie's trash is another Betty's treasure. Like this toy truck might turn into a perfect flower pot. Separate a toy truck into pieces. Color it with spray paint and put it back together. Attach decorative rocks to the edge. Make a railing. Sprinkle more pebbles into the truck bed and insert an air plant which doesn't need soil to grow. Blondie notices her old truck. I was gonna throw this away, but the truck barely escaped going to the landfill and started a new life nurturing a house plant. It's almost miraculous. Blondie's determined to clean the whole house, but Betty won't just let her get rid of old stuff. She opened a shelter in the kitchen for useless things and keeps inventing new products. She even figured out a use for old computer keys. Remove the keys from a broken keyboard. Use a hot knife to cut off the excess plastic. Hot glue a small magnet. Betty turned old keys into magnets. Now she can write messages on the fridge. Wow! Sometimes even Blondie is surprised by her friend's creative mind. The fight over old trash is more intense than ever. To toss or not to toss? That is the question. Betty loses the battle over an old frame. Now she's upset and leaving the battlefield. Looks like Blondie overstepped her bounds. I need to cheer my friend back up. Bribing her with food always works. Blondie comes up with a plan. Take apart an old picture frame. Color two handles and the frame with spray paint. Attach the handles to the frame using screws. Use acrylic paint to write a label on paper. Make a polka dot print. Put the frame back together. Cut a bouncy ball in half and coat it with paint. Attach the pieces on the corners to be bases for the tray. Blondie brings a tree on a tray. Not any old tray, but an exclusive designer tray. It's made out of that same old picture frame. Blondie was wrong. This trash really did turn into something useful. Betty forgives her friend right away. Blondie was just fixing herself up when she suddenly finds a throwback to the old days. Are these cassette tapes? Where did they come from? And who needs them anyway? We don't have anything to listen to them on anymore. But Betty immediately takes the cassettes for herself. It's not a relic of the past, but part of a purse design. Take apart an old cassette tape. Remove the insides and the tape itself. Break off the remaining plastic with pliers. Color both halves with spray paint. Trace the pieces on felt. Cut out a rectangle. Side pieces shaped like a trapezoid and a strip. Glue a zipper to the two halves of the cassette. Cover the bottom with the felt strip. Attach the trapezoids on the sides and glue the felt case to the inside.
Betty shows off her trendy new coin purse. It's not old garbage, it's vintage, kiddo! We'll definitely still need these cassettes. My next project will be a bag made out of vinyl records. Betty's acting like the number one hit of the kitchen scene and accidentally breaks a paper towel holder. Pretty awkward. I'd better fix this. Insert a plastic tube into a big globe stand. To make it fit, heat one end of the tube. Put a cardboard ring onto the tube. Hot glue. Also heat the second end of the tube and insert it into the stand. Color the whole thing with acrylic paint. Add pops of color with a dry brush and some acrylic paint. Insert a roll of paper towels into the stand. Blondie finds the broken holder. What am I meant to do now? But Betty's already hurrying to show her the new invention. What is this? An invisible globe? Nope, a classy paper towel stand. Blondie likes this creative idea. It'll make her kitchen look super modern. Did you like our ideas for reincarnating old things? Then let us know in the comments about how you're planning to make useless things useful again. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new life hacks from Troom Troom.